My son is picking on me. He's saying I have the worst memory than anybody that he's ever met. In Ask a boy. question from one of her recent YouTube videos in the comments. Bet she won't answer if she shows a note. <laughs> she would. I have a lot to think about, you know. I'm serious. Like I don't know what to order. All right, so go up here. Just get like a bunch of hash browns. Let's. We're getting a ritual meal. All right. Like, All right, let me is that what you're saying? Oh gosh, here we go. Hi, how can I help you? Hi, uh, can we get a uh, um, breakfast meal, like a, the full meal? Oh, I was with my that is $12 just on hash browns alone. What? That's not cool. What? Yeah. I like the mealman's hat. Look. No. Put your seatbelt oh, on. You're freezing. What are you going to do when you're in the hospital? I have a warm There is no bed. hospital. What are you going to do when you're just I'll sitting there on the side bed. of the road? You ain't going to have nothing. I'll have a warm There's bed. There's no hospital right now. I'll have a warm You're going to be sitting out on the sidewalk over there. A nice cold ground. You think you're cold now? Wait till they put you on a well, stretcher out there. Well, 2 is 30. You like that, huh? See how smart my kids are? Watch how smart my kids are. This is all because of unschooling. If you tuck your shirt into your pants, uh -huh. So when your, your when your shirt isn't tucked in your pants, are your pants tucked in your shirt? <laughs> <laughs> That's critical thinking. That's very good, honey. Are your pants like my pants are tucked into my shirt. Right. <laughs> Why do they call it apartments if they're all together? Mm -hmm. They should be called together. <laughs> oh yeah. Why are they called apartments? Right. Because Apart the rooms bins. are separate. When they should be called together. Together men. Nope. All right. This these are our kind of family arguments. I said to let I said to them bring Rachel's food to her bed because she's sleeping. We were up late last night. And then they were like, why does she get to be treated like a princess? And I said, I'm buying you food right now. What's the, you, you're being treated like I'm carting I'm carting them around. Because I came with you. Yeah, but look who's in the back seat and look who's driving here, huh? Well I would I I didn't choose to be born. What am I, your chauffeur? Hey. Look at me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright. Now you see why I'm the way I am. Oh. Wait a minute. And then my sister Amanda wants to come with Sham. He used to be in my videos more often. He hasn't come. That's my nephew. And then my sister Teresa and her husband Peter and her beautiful babies want to come by. I mean, come on. It's such a gift. Honestly, I can't take it. All right, that's all. Do I look older? I mean, the clock is still ticking, you know. Listen, the sound of holiness. Hurry, Lisa, hurry. Listen to that sound. Oh. Wow, there's only one other person here. Listen to that. Listen, it's like a beautiful song. Heaven is waiting, or heaven is here on earth. Heaven is here on earth. Heaven is here on earth. <sighs> I love God. All right, let's go pray. Woohoo! You got your veil on, ladies? Okay, I belong to a sodality group, but I haven't been there because of this virus. But anyway, this here is a wonderful book. And I haven't read it in a long time. It's a manual to the group to help make our group solid. What is the word solid? Oh, solid over here. Okay, so we're gonna look at that today and my imitation of Christ. My family was like, are you gonna be there for an hour? And I'm like, probably not. And of course, and then I left my other one at home, my God's promises. I read that at home. Oh my gosh. I need as much help as I can get. I have that anxiety, you know? I can't stand it. All right, let me go. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. No one's in here with me right now. The priest left to go in the other room with somebody. So we're alone with the Lord. So I'll show you. And you can say good morning to the Lord. Right in there is the tabernacle. We want to ask God to help us to enter into see that light right there, that candle, it means that the body, blood, soul, 
Thank you, Lord, for my birthday. Thank you for thinking about me 49 years ago. Yes. Imagine that out of all eternity. It was 49 years ago that God knit me in my mother's womb. That's when he thought it was appropriate to put me here. So thank you, God. And anybody else's birthday that is today, April 27th, or whenever I get this video out, thank you for them too, Lord. Okay, well, I did stay in there an hour. It's very, very easy to do. So I got to pray the rosary, and I got to pray many prayers in one of those books, and I read all about, oh my gosh, like how to have peace. And um, it's really beautiful. Let me see if I can get it for you, a little bit anyway, maybe all of it. Hold on, let me get my glasses. Let me get the book. Okay, this is out of the, my Imitation of Christ. Here's a great picture. Here's a great photo. Here's a great picture. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world gives do I give unto you. When I read to you, I'll take out a lot of those words you might not fully understand. So um, St. John chapter 14. So, okay, that's the picture. I like this because it says firm peace. If, if I need anything, it's peace, right? And I'm sure you do too. This is for all of us. So the secret of, of peace, of heart and progress. So Christ is saying son, and I, I hear daughter, right? I have said peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world gives do I give unto you. Peace is what all desire, right? But all care not for those things which is it appertain to true peace, right? So not, not everybody cares for, um, you know, how to get it. My peace is with the humble, okay? So you gotta be humble and meek of heart. Thy peace shall be in much patience. Ha! Do I know that one? Okay. So, right, we spend a lot of our life waiting and we are impatient, right? And therefore, we are all disturbed. So, we have to have the peace. If you will hear me, okay? So, that's, that's one of the secrets. If you hear me, so you have to be humble and meek and you have to hear the Lord and follow his voice, okay? If thou wilt hear me and follow my voice, you shall enjoy much peace. Praise the Lord. There it is. Okay. And then we say, what then shall I do, Lord? And Christ says, in everything, attend to yourself. What you are doing and what you are saying and direct your whole intention to this. That you may please me alone and neither desire nor seek anything outside of me okay so this is how we get peace so you want to make sure that you are doing your duty you're in the moment right you're in the present time you're paying attention to your duties okay now I like here and as for the sayings or doings of others judge of nothing rashly neither busy yourself with things not committed to your care Okay, so when we get all caught up, maybe it's about um, a man or a woman that you like or, you know, whatever is out of your reach, don't even t go there, okay? So, um, and therefore may it be brought about that you shall be little or seldom disturbed, okay? But never to feel any trouble nor to suffer any grief of heart or pain of body is not the state of this present life but of everlasting rest. So, think not, therefore, that you have found true peace if you feel no burden, nor that then all is well if you have no advers ad adversary, excuse me, nor that you have attained to perfection if all things be done according to your inclination. So, we still have to be careful. 
Neither do thou then conceive a great opinion of yourself, nor imagine yourself to be especially beloved, if you experience great devotion and sweetness, for it is not in such things as these that a true lover of virtue is known, nor do the progress and perfection of a man consist in these things. Oh, what then, O oh Lord? Christ is saying, in offering yourself with your whole heart to the will of God, Okay, not seeking the things that are uh, yours, uh, either in little or great, either in time or eternity, so that with the same equal continence thou, you may continue giving thanks, both in prosperity and adversity, weighing all things with an equal balance. If you come to be so valiant in long-suffering and hope, then when interior comfort is withdrawn, you can prepare your heart to suffer still more and do not justify yourself as if you ought not to suffer such great things. But acknowledge my justice in all my... Appointments and praises. Okay, praise my holy name. Then it is that you walk us in... That, oh, excuse me. Then it is that you walk in the true and right way of peace and may hope without any doubt to see my face again with great glory. And if you arrive at an entire contempt of yourself, know that um, you shall enjoy an abundance of peace as much as is possible in this state of banishment. See, we really have to understand that like, okay, so God is a loving God. He's, he's all just, he's almighty, you know, he's all caring, but he does do things so that we, like, you know, the design is, is that if you really want, um, if you really want, look at me. So if you really want to know how God operates, it's that he allows us to suffer. You know, that's how we find him. And it hurts and it does hurt a lot but it is true that when you get through it you go yay and then you made it through that trial you know and then you get one and another one and then another one we love you Lord make the sign of the cross all right I'm going to the dollar store why am I going there I don't even know uh, why am I going to the dollar store I don't remember I really don't What's the reason? Yeah, I remembered I'm getting Nani cookies. Nani is my mother-in-law. She wanted cookies. So today, since I'm in the area, we're gonna get it for her. And maybe we'll surprise her with like some Chinese food. She really likes that. Uh, I went to the dollar store. I had no idea why I was in there. I'm like, what? What did I need in here? I was standing in the aisles. I look like a goofball. Anyway, I got Nani one of these. She is like me. We're very sentimental and when you see something like this every day every day every day and you just oh they love me okay oops all right and we got grandpa m&ms this is like a joke this size okay he needs like 10,000 tons of them really but i'm trying to be stingy here as well as giving and then for my nephew who i'm going to bump into today i thought how cute these little pop outs you color them and then you pop them out and Little Thomas will have a blast. And then for his sister, Josie, my little niece. Oh my goodness, they're gonna have so much fun. And then I got some shampoo and stuff. But Joanne's little niece loves all of the stuff. So I have a lot of it ready to roll to get to her. I told her I'd send her some. So this is a unicorn horn. Alright, and um and then Naughty loves butter rings. Who doesn't? Would it be doing a good commercial? All right. And then I got her a bunch of those. And then for Grandpa, actually, you know something? I only got her three packages. I am just so stingy. All right. And then for Grandpa, who doesn't love these? But you know which ones I love? When I was little, they had the ones with the... Um, you know, the hole in the middle, you could put them on your finger like a ring. That was fun. I don't see them anywhere. Not even market basket. All right. So I think we're ready to roll there. And we're ready. We are rocking. We are rolling all over the place, okay? 
All right, and then I think I'm gonna stop and get her some Chinese food because she likes that stuff. Who doesn't? Don't forget the Catholic radio station. It helps you to learn a whole lot while you're driving from A to B. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the other world. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Okay, so first off, we gave Donnie and Grandpa all their stuff, and she gave me a beautiful birthday card. Woohoo! All right, this now I'm gonna drop to... off. Now I have to drop off some things to my father's house. We just want to know why the mailman is in the marsh. Got the church. Bless yourself. This is where I met Steve. Right on this. It's right here, in front of the store. Okay, so, okay, so that what we're gonna do is we're gonna get eggplant for later, but today we're all gonna go out to Burger King. I know it's not a big deal, but you know what? We love uh, Whoppers. It is. We love Whoppers, so and we don't normally off. do this. Campbell? Yeah. Where'd the Whopper go? Why does that always happen? We're here! <laughs>